All right, I'm back. I had to get Nate some more milk. So, <sighs> where was I? Oh, yeah, I scrolled down. Hold on. Oh, no, I got a message. Okay, hold on. Sorry. Okay, where was I? The incriminating text one. Basically, I was talking shit, and I sent it to him, but I also was saying something too, so that's just, like, cuter. But, anyway, that was kind of embarrassing, so that would be, like, a, a text I didn't mean to send. Because I didn't really do any texts that are, like, criminal, you know, like, incriminating, but that was kind of like, oh, fuck, wrong person, you know? Um, what is the difference between living and existing? In my opinion, I would say living is, like, the difference between living and existing, existing would be more of just, like, going along on a daily basis. Um, kind of like what I'm doing right now. It's just like, I'm just kind of existing. I'm not really living my life as much as I want to. You know what I mean? So, living would be more like doing more things and like getting out there and doing what you want to do. Like, not bad stuff like what you want to do, but just like following your dreams and goals and just being, living life. You guys know what I mean. I don't know. I hair on my eye. Just living. You guys get what I mean. Um, and existing is just kind of like, not making the most of every day, I guess, in a way. You know what I mean? So, that's my opinion. Um, really? Okay. Number 10, explain what feeling some type of way is to you. I don't know, because I ask myself that every time I hear that song. And I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? So if anyone knows, comment down there and tell me what you think that means. Feeling some type of way. I think that's what it means. It means he's feeling some type of way, but it's just kind of worded weird, I guess. If the whole world were listening, what would you say? Hmm. I would probably say, like, the way you think things are and should be, there's other ways people see things not, because I fall into this little thing myself, too. Where I think the way I think is how everyone thinks. And then when I realize they don't, I feel like it's hard to imagine the way they think. So I would say to open your mind to other people's thinking because you're not always right. You know what I mean? And I would say to grow up because so many people are so immature. So I would say grow up and your way of thinking isn't the only way of thinking. And so that's probably what I would say. Okay. Hmm. Number 12. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Hmm. What would it be? If it was something on a bigger level, it would be, um, hmm. It would be like a personality trait. Like, I wish I was more patient, and I wish, like, I had better self-control. I'm having a hard time learning patience and self-control. That's what I need to learn. So I'm having a hard time with that. So I would change that. Or, if it's something smaller, like, um, like a physical trait, I would have really long hair, like stupid long hair. So, that's what I would do. <laughs> okay, so, if you could be another person for a day, who would you be? I'd probably be someone super famous, just for the fuck of it. Like, I would be, maybe Beyonce, to see if they're all really Illuminati, and like, to kick it with Jay-Z all day, and I'd probably do that. Go shopping, you know? Then I would go hide the clothes somewhere secret, so when we switch bodies back, I would be able to go get all those badass clothes. I'd probably put a car over there, too, so I'd park my car somewhere secret and put all my shit in the car that I bought that day. Okay, so, um, number 14. <laughs> How much twerk could a twerker twerk if a twerker could twerk twerk? More than Miley Cyrus, that's how much. Oh my god, really? In your best accent, explain a perfect date? Oh, that's, okay, hold on. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm trying to think of my perfect date. I'm so embarrassed to do this right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like alone in my garage and like making this video. And now I have to do an accent, talk about something totally made up. My family's all in the house and stuff. And I feel like a dork. So, but I'm totally going to do it. <laughs> Hold on, let me think of my perfect date. I don't know if I should joke about what my perfect date is or be serious. Like, what I would really think of it was a perfect date. <laughs> oh 
all right, mate. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Can I just stop now? <laughs> all right. Um. I'd like him to take me out to get some shrimp on a bobby. <laughs> Maybe some biz and a fuck. <laughs> okay. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to post that. <laughs> Alright, no more laughing. Is that number 15? Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Okay. Number 16, finish this sentence. When I go poop, I always... Okay. You know what? <laughs> I'll tell you something else instead. When I was a kid, like, I don't know when I started doing it, but like, by the, I stopped by the time I was like, eight, maybe, something like that. Eight, nine, something like that. Maybe ten. In order to go poop, I would have to take, well, I wouldn't have to, it's not like I couldn't, but like, I preferred it this way take all my clothes off. I would wear no clothes. <laughs> I just like kick off my pants and I don't know why. I have no idea why, but I um, I did it for the longest time when I was a kid. Okay. If your most recent ex could give you a nickname, what would it be? In their opinion or my opinion? <laughs> um, who's my most recent ex? Oh, my most recent ex? I don't know if it would be a nick. I know what he called me the last time I talked to him. Um, there's a chance he still watches my videos too, because he knows my channel. Um, hey Dan, um, <laughs> he would probably. What did he call me? Uh, I think it was like something like, it was like dumb or stupid. Um. It might have been white trash, or it might have been drug addict, but it was one of those. And then it was hooker. So it was probably like stupid. Uh, I forgot what the second thing I said was. Um, stupid. What did I say the second one was? I totally can't remember. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, white trash or drug addict. So he would call me like a dumb white trash hooker or something like that. So I guess that's what I would be if he were giving me a nickname. Dan. You're lucky I'm not going to tell them your nickname. Anyways, um, what's the sluttiest thing you've ever done? Oh, man. Shit, I don't know if I should say that because this is like the internet. <laughs> um, well, that's bad of me to even say like that, because now you guys know I did something that's so bad, I don't know if I should say it on the internet. The sluttiest thing I've ever done. Hmm. I'll tell one that's really close. But it's not that silly. It's kind of stupid and a bummer. Um, when I was like, probably like, 15? I was like 15 because I was in like, mm, I think I was in 8th grade. So I was like 15. It was late and, well, I was bad in the first place in those days, like really bad. Um, that was when I kind of went wild and I kind of stopped wilding out by the time I was like 16. So it's not that big of a deal. But I wilded out really bad because I didn't have any parental supervision. I dropped out of school and I was hanging out with a bad, bad girl, like a really bad girl. And, um, like a teenager tweaker bad girl and I didn't even know she was a tweaker and we were friends for like forever and we did like so much stuff together but anyways we were out and we were drinking and we were like partying walking around our neighborhood um which was like a super ghetto neighborhood and I was really thirsty and I was really drunk I remember being really drunk we had got drunk on a mountain and um because it was right behind the liquor store and I went to the liquor store and it was closed but I was like ornery and a teenager and I was a, I was a really bad teenager I was like a bitch and I was mean and I was like stupid and so I was like knocking on the window I was like uh hello so because I seen them in there because there's like bars but it was locked so I was like um hey and so he came and opened it and I was like um I'm really thirsty and I was like 
let me in or something like that. So he let me and a couple of my friends in. And I told him I would make out with him if he would just give me my drink. So I don't know how old this guy is. I'm 15. I'm drunk, walking around. And I hop up on the counter and just, like, grab him and make out with him, take my drink, and leave with my friends. So that's pretty slutty, I think, in my opinion. I really made a lot of bad decisions back then, but, um, so that's probably the slutty, one of the slutty things I've ever done. I had a lot of bad days when I was a younger girl, so, what made me who I am now, so that's fine with me. Alright, and that's all my questions, so let me tell her I'm done. Done! Uh, um, hold on, I'm going to tell her the accent part. Oh my god. Uh, okay. So, oops. Um, I need to, oh, no. Um, 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 jeez. Okay. So, um, no, I'm gonna, there's gonna be another part to this, because she wanted to do, like, 30 questions, but I wanted to make the video, and it got to be nighttime, because it's late right now, and, um, so, there's gonna be a part two. So, this is just part one of it, and maybe I should call them Jamie's Life Questions, or something like that, and no, I need it to be something hilarious, she gave me some good ideas, so I might go with one of those, alright, so anyways, um, I had a lot of fun making this video, I can't believe I did that fucking accent, and I will make you guys a dancing video maybe tomorrow, okay, so let me stop this thing, um, but I hope you guys like the questions, because, oh man, if there's no sound, can you imagine? I can't do this again, because it won't be funny. Ugh. Alright, so wish there's sound, guys. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye.